What's going on, guys? Pistol Pack and Pilot back with another video. What do you think would happen to Silver if a billionaire came in and did this? Stay tuned. <laughs> Triple P back with another video. We know that supply and demand is economics on a very, very basic level. About the lowest level of economics you can understand, actually. And I am not an economics major, but it's common sense if you start running out of a supply of something and you still have a demand that is going to naturally increase the value of that commodity. How does that relate to silver? Well, first of all, let's talk about the supply of silver. We've all been a part of all of these silver squeezes and we're all fed up with them. We have found that the silver squeezes have basically failed. They are fairly ineffective. But is there a shortage of silver? We're going to get to that, and we're going to get to exactly what the supply is in just a few minutes. But before we do, I'm referencing an article from investing.com from January 4th of 2023. And the article is titled, The Elon Musk Effect Has Also Reached Silver. Now, we all know that silver is a commodity, and we know that it's both a precious metal, it's a form of money, and it's also an industrial metal. We know that it's used in electric vehicles, we know that it's used in solar panels, electricity, internet servers, cell phones, the list goes on and on and on. Now, Elon Musk has already hinted at the fact that he might be interested in purchasing a silver mine. We know that Tesla and Elon Musk both are going to have a huge need for silver in the upcoming years. We know that SpaceX is going to need silver. Electric vehicles, every electric vehicle has silver in them. Elon Musk seems to have set his sights on a potential silver mine. Now, all of us have heard of Wall Street Silver. Wall Street Silver is very prominent on Twitter, and they were basically the godchild of the first silver squeeze. Elon Musk has well over 100 million Twitter followers. I don't even know how many, but he's only following 171 Twitter accounts. One of those Twitter accounts, as of about three weeks ago, is Wall Street Silver. And it has been confirmed that he has flirted briefly with Glencore for a 10 to 20% stake in their silver mine. But what would happen if Elon Musk did acquire a silver mine? Well, some would speculate that the spot price of silver would go up. I am not a financial advisor, and I am by far from an economics major, so I really don't know. You're just a stupid bus driver. That's right. Mrs. Triple P called it right. I am just a stupid fucking bus driver. Now, in conjunction with all of that, on January 22nd, CNBC published an article that's called Silver Prices Could Touch a Nine-Year High in 2023 with a bigger upside than gold. And a lot of the financial experts within the gold and silver YouTube stacking community have gone out on a limb and said that they think not only is the outlook for silver positive for this year, but they think silver is going to lead. Many of them believe silver is going to lead the charge and gold will follow, which would be huge. Most of these so-called financial experts are predicting that silver will hit $30 per ounce this year, according to CNBC. Now, silver has not seen the $30 level since February of 2013. So we're nine 
almost, what, nine years and 11 months, almost 10 years right now, that is fairly significant. But is there a silver shortage? Nikki Shields, head of the metals strategy at Precious Metals Company, MKS PAMP, stated, silver is in a shortage and there is a notable drawdown in the available physical stocks held in the New York and London's physical hubs, more so than seen in gold. And we're going to get more to the COMEX and the LBMA in a minute. Shields also added, that silver is expected to post deficits of more than 100 million ounces over the next five years, with industrial demand spurring the tight supply. The largest segment of silver demand is industrial, which equates to almost 50% of the total demand, Shields said. For a base case of silver prices to climb to 28 with a bullish case of $30 or more. Well, what about the supply of silver? Randy Smallwood, who's president of Wheaton Precious Metals, said we hit peak silver supply about five, six years ago. Silver production on a worldwide basis has actually been dropping, and we're not seeing as much silver produced from the mines. When silver prices go up, it's not like the silver mines can increase production because the silver mines can only supply about 25% of the silver, Smallwood said adding that the market often relies on the lead and the zinc mines to satisfy the higher demand. Now, the outlook for silver is not 100% positive, according to MKS PAMP, because they said that recession fears could lead to a softer industrial demand, which may cause silver prices to drop as low as $18 per ounce again. That certainly is a realistic possibility. As we go deeper and deeper into this recession, Pistol Pack and Pilot's official opinion is that the Fed is eventually going to have to pivot. And when the Fed pivots, that is going to cause the DXY to crash. And what happens when the economy starts to tumble? Everyone turns to tangible assets. What are tangible assets? Real estate, land, gold, and yes, silver. Now, all of that being said, exactly what is the supply for silver? Let's talk about what the COMEX currently has on hand right now, and let's take a look at this graph. All right, so as you can see with this chart, this is the COMEX registered silver stockpile, and it pretty much gained quite a bit uh, about mid-2020, shooting all the way up to 140, and at one point at the beginning of 2021, it looks like almost uh, well over 150 million ounces. And then around first quarter 2021, we fall off the cliff and it just starts this downward trend all the way down to where we are today. Well, actually at the end of 2022, which is where the chart stops, which is at 38.13 million ounces. Now, with that being said, what about the LBMA? The LBMA is also a big supplier of silver. What is their supply like? Let's take a look at where the LBMA is at and see if there's any correlation to the COMEX. Okay, so looking at this chart, once again, we see looks like peak silver supply is around 2020. And then once we uh, get further on into the year of 2020 starts falling off, we have a little dip in the LBMA supply. 2021, we shoot back up. But then... About midway through 2021, what happens? Going into 2022, we start falling off the cliff again. And the LBMA also starts depleting a bulk of its silver supply. And as you can see on the chart, it got as high as it looks like uh, over 1.1 million ounces of silver to where we are at the end of 2022 which is uh, looks like right around 900,000 ounces or so. Once again, there's a significant percentage in a decrease of the supply that the LBMA has on hand of the physical silver. That being said, what can one billionaire do? 
Well, like we said, with the COMEX sitting on 38.13 million ounces of silver, and with the LBMA around 900,000 ounces, we're roughly about 39 million ounces. Mrs. Triple P, what is the spot price of silver right now? I believe it's about 23.50. Correct. Give or take, about $23.50 per ounce, roughly. So if we take that spot price of silver and we multiply it times 39 million ounces, which we have already determined to be the current supply between the COMEX and the LBMA, what do we get, Mrs. Triple P? 916,500,000, Triple P. So we have a monetary value today of $916,500,000. Mrs. Triple P, just for the sake of argument, how much did Elon Musk buy Twitter for? $44 billion. $44 billion. Mrs. Triple P, did anybody expect Elon Musk to pay $44 billion for frickin' Twitter? Heck no. We've already said that the cost the monetary value of all of the silver in the COMEX and the LBMA is less than $1 billion. And Elon is worth $153 billion. So, Mrs. Triple P, how little of a drop in the bucket is it for Elon Musk or any other billionaire, for that matter, to swoop in and buy every ounce of silver that the COMEX and the LBMA has. It could happen. It could happen? It absolutely could happen. Now, do I think it will happen? I don't know. I don't have my crystal ball. But I do know this much, guys. I do know that the outlook for silver, in my opinion, is very bright based on the trends with the COMEX and the LBMA I believe that we are on the cusp of a silver shortage, and I don't think there is a need for any more silver squeezes. I think it's all going to happen naturally, and a silver squeeze is just spinning our wheels like the hamster or the gerbil running around on the wheel and going nowhere. If it's going to happen, it is going to happen. And I think in the next few years, the outlook for silver is going to be very bright. Does that change anything in the way that I stack? No, absolutely not. I still am going to stack at my own pace, and I am still going to accumulate my tangible assets. And I recommend that you do what's best for you and your family as well. Thank you for watching, guys. I am the Pistol Packing Pilot. And I am Mrs. And you sound nasally because we still have our beer flu. Yes, we do. And we are out.